Hello Aquarius couples. I am Phoenix Rising. If you're hearing my voice, you're watching my channel. If you are a new Aquarius couple, welcome. You can click like, subscribe, you can share me. And if you are a returning Aquarius couple, thanks for coming back. As I already said, I'm Phoenix Rising. I'm here to do a love read for you guys for the week, this week until the 20th. Um, which is like the ending of Mercury Retrograde. I did a four card spread. The fourth card is your main messages. <clears throat> you get to ask the deck a question now. I flipped that at the end. And I did a game spread at the top. And I'll flip those at the end as well. And I'm going to jump straight in. You read. Oh, and this is for Aquarius couples only. So you either have to be an Aquarius or you have to have Aquarius in your birth chart. Or your spouse must be an Aquarius or they must have Aquarius in their birth chart for this to resonate. As I always say, if it does not apply, let it fly. Everything is not for everyone, okay? There's other readers out there. So you just, you find whatever fits you. Okay, so here we go. The Queen of Swords. This is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. If you're an Aquarius woman, this could be you. If you're a man, you could be embodying the, the uh, emotions of this card. Or you could be dating a uh, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini woman. Or in her birth chart. She doesn't have to be, but it could definitely be in her birth chart. This is alone, uh, intelligent, graceful. This is keep at a distance. Learn from past. This is no wait, no. What type of man someone wants? This is like um, stay away from good advice. No tolerance for bullshit. This person, no BS. This is um, good judge of character. Human lie detector test. Uh, they detect bullshit. This is operating with um, intellect and not heart. So this is someone that purely based thoughts off of mind and not how they feel. Um, trying to see if someone makes a suitable partner. Um, this is, you know, like I said, someone trying to see if someone makes a suitable partner. Very cautious about being played again. Scared to open up their heart. This is wall up. This is um, not in a mental space necessarily for a relationship. Someone could not be right now in a mental space to even deal with a relationship. This is also um, learning from the bad stuff. Never will I ever hurt again card. This is someone that I will observe first before giving you their heart. This is cautious of being played. Um, heart leaves you astray. That's what this card is. But definitely somebody like, oh, nah, I'm not going to get got again. I'm going to make sure I'm on my shit. <laughs> the chariot. It is sitting upright. This is the Sagittarius card. It could be in your person's birth chart or in yours. This is goals and sight, greatness from like um, hard work in the relationship. This is things moving fast and you need to stay in control. This is understanding everything that's happening and staying in control. Completing the race to victory. This is doing what you want to do. Someone could be doing what they want to do, when they want to do it, how they want to do it. Um, but the chariot also brings up, um, be cautious of car issues and stuff like that, even though it's a relationship reading. But, yes, but you could be dealing with a Sagittarius that you want a grand ending with. And they could be moving very fast, like swiftly, coming in at full speed. Then you got the moon. This is the Scorpio card. Definitely the Scorpio card. This is um, others prevail. Hidden danger, not seeing clearly, afraid of the unknown. Too many unknowns. Like, um, I don't know. I don't know. I got to see. 
Too many un unknown things about you someone can feel. Not sure how you feel about them. This is their, um, there's confusion. Allowing things to come to the light. With the moon. Sometimes things are hidden with the moon and you have to wait to see what is hidden with the moon. Someone can move different at night. Even this Sagittarius. I'm feeling. This is definitely um, wait 14 days. And this is lies, deception. Wait and figure it out. Truth comes to light. False info. Serious immediate danger. Causing loss or risk or threat. This is lack of being truthful and genuine. Yep, broken promises and hidden factors card. It's what I like to call it. And this Sagittarius could be male or female. That's why it's the cherry. It could be either or. It, it doesn't, you know, it could be either or. It's something just tell me see something. I feel like I need to look at something. With this cherry. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, somebody has this uh, person in sight to be with. But they might have some things that you are already with them and they might have be hiding some things with the moon. Um, and then you got the star and it's sitting upright. This is the actual Aquarius card. This is you. <clears throat> so you got all the air signs. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Scorpio, and Aquarius again. This is um, hope. Um, this is wanting someone or desiring them, but feeling like they're out of reach because you can't get them unattainable. This is, there's hope, <clears throat> wanting a relationship, but it may not happen or it may not stay. This is pure luck, odd, slim to none. Someone feeling like, um, this is the impossible, feeling like you can't get them. This is also relying on your intuition and divine guidance. Pay attention to your dreams, getting a reading or uh, even your horoscopes. It's saying pay attention with this card. With this hidden moon and this Sagittarius and yeah. And it's the lie detector uh, card, which makes me feel like you already own to something with this chariot. Someone trying to pull a fast one though with the chariot, I feel like. Chariot is swift movement. So it's like they're trying to pull a, a lie detector, trying to pull a fast one, having some hidden. And with the star upright, um, your intuition card, like following your guts. What else was I finna say? Oh, yeah, because the moon is also um, being fed lies or false info. But you already know that for some of you. This could be two weeks to wait two weeks. And you'll see. Seeing things differently. This is can't see clearly. Being fake. You are in trouble. Shit is about to happen. This is deceitfulness. Not caring. Um, it's like not, uh, gotta get to see who you are, get to know you, not sure where feelings are at yet. This is confusement. Feeling wild or having a wild fantasy. Allowing it to come to the light. Yep. That could be the whole little hidden situation going on. Like, um, yeah, it's like they, they, um, could be hiding some stuff. So be careful. And then I was going to say something else about this star card. Ooh, what was I going to say? Yeah, just um, things feeling up. Un, un, ugh, can't even talk. Mercury retrograde got me so twisted. Feeling like things are unobtainable. Um, but this is also um, closed-minded, stubborn. 
You are, it could be you or your partner only seeing the worst aspects. You fear, you are in fear. And this is think, um, think it no, think it's not going to happen. This is don't get depressed, seeing the glass half full or not half empty. This is love is there, but you have options. But you are afraid. This is lack of hope and confidence. Bad things outweigh the good. I mean, the good outweigh the bad. And it's just letting you know bad always happen. So, you know, you just have to deal with it as it comes. But yes, definitely couples. And or and some of you, your mate could be um dealing with a Sagittarius outside of the relationship. If it's not resonating that you have a Sag, if you're having some deceit and lying, if someone fake information, it could definitely be that they're hiding something. With this moon and this star. You, you got you got um iconic cards. You got, you know, like I said, these three especially. The Queen of Swords is Aquarius energy. For your answer, you got determined couples. Undetermined. For your first game card, you got pack your bags, get the hell out of town. It will make you both lovable again with this queen's energy. Ooh, you got tantrums are for babies. Grow the fuck up with this Sagittarius chariot card. With this energy, flight risks, moving fast. You got the only, wait, I'm sorry. One, one of you is doing too many fucking chores. That person better get laid now. Check yourself. You're playing with fire. Interesting, because the chariot is fire. Playing with fire. Or well, they're playing with fire. This is get hot and sweaty. Work out and grow old as fuck together. All right, Aquarius couples, this has been your love read. It's good to the 20th. And like I said, you got iconics. Everything's facing upright. It might be a little secret. It may not be too bad. Just something you need to know. But keep your eyes and ears open and follow your gut intuition because it's never going to lead you wrong. With this lie detector test and follow your intuition at the beginning and the end. And with the secrets in between, you got this. Okay, click like, subscribe, share. I am Phoenix Rising, Love and Light. Come back and see me. Thanks for watching.